If any video game fits the definition of eternal, it's Tetris. It was born out of Russia in 1984 and was almost immediately embraced by PC users. But once it launched on Nintendo's wildly popular Game Boy in 1989, Tetris took off and quickly became a household name. It has since appeared on every console, handheld, and practically every other type of interactive device you can think of. Tetris is the essence of a video game that's simple to play but difficult to master. It's probably the most recognizable video game of all time, and as numerous developers have proved over the years, it's also incredibly malleable. Tetsuya Mizuguchi and his team at Enhance Inc. are next in line to make their mark on Tetris's legacy. Their game, Tetris Effect, has been a project in the making, at least in theory, for decades. Like so many people, Mizuguchi was enamored with Tetris from the start, but it wasn't a game he carried around in his pocket. It was a costly and addictive arcade game for the impressionable college student. It was also a game that would have a ripple effect throughout his future career in game development, long before he was in control of Tetris Effect. You know, we put the coins like, like this, and the play continue and continue and continue. That was the game by Sega, so that was my first Tetris experience. Sega released Tetris into Japanese arcades in 1988. A mere two years later, Mizuguchi joined the fold at Sega designing arcade racing games, at a time when the company was pushing the physical boundaries of man and machine interactions. Mizuguchi, meanwhile, had plans of his own in mind. I joined to Sega. That was my big motivation. Oh, I want to create a VR experience. I joined to arcade, you know, the game division. At the time, that was too early, but now, you know, the gate is open. So I'm so excited to create a new type of experience. Before VR Tech caught up with Mizuguchi's ambitions, he established himself as a gaming figurehead with the likes of Space Channel 5 and Res, two music-centric games for Sega's Dreamcast, the last console the company would ever produce. Space Channel 5 has its charms, but Res has magic. It's a sensory meditation, wrapped around an on rails shooter where your actions and skills immediately translate into music. You are the hero, but you're also the rhythm section. Res set Mizuguchi on a path devoted to the pursuit of synesthesia, the perception of images, sounds, and physical movements as connected forces. Though we now know that the timing wasn't meant to be, shortly following Rez's success, an inspired Mizuguchi turned to Tetris. After Rez's production, I think it's 2002-3, so you know, the first PSP came out. And uh, I wanted to create a new type of puzzle game with the Rez mechanism. You know, any sound effects get into music, and the music react with the visual thing. So I had that, that kind of a uh, very fuzzy idea. And uh, I tried to talk with a uh, Tetris company, but you know, they had, uh, you know, the, they, give, they gave the license to uh, some company. Nothing happened at the time. So, but we could make a new franchise, you know, new IP like Luminous. You know, it's getting the Luminous. But the originally, you know, I thought, oh, I want to create the puzzle with Rez experience. That was Tetris, originally, you know. The puzzle sensation Luminous was born at Mizuguchi's new studio, Q Entertainment. Once again, the harmony of music, gameplay, and visuals was practically undeniable. This tack became Q Entertainment's MO until Mizuguchi left the company in 2013. One year after his departure, Enhance Inc. was born. VR devices like Rift, Vive, and PSVR were on the horizon. Mizuguchi's virtual dreams were about to become reality. You know, we made the, the Resident Infinite, right? And the same time, same time we did the, uh, that kind of, uh, you know, pre-production idea of Tetris Effect. But at the time, you know, not Tetris Effect. We called Zen Tetris. <laughs> We started the no VR concept, just only you know the flat screen. But we add that kind of concept later. 
and uh, we change it dramatically, add the particles, and the particles react with the music. So you can see the music with VR. So that was a very fresh new you know, idea we add later. So but basically, it's the same. You know, new type of storytelling with Tetris play. Most of the people, you know, think what you add to the game, you know, that's enough. Even if, you know, black and white, 8 bit, 16 bit, that was fun. And it's still fun. So we had a big, you know, curiosity and the creative desire, you know, we want to create the new thing. So if we could make totally new experience, new storytelling with Tetris. Would be awesome. That's why we had a big excitement. But I was a little bit nervous. But we had the experience, you know, to create a new experience like, you know, Luminous and the, the other games. So, yeah, we had that confidence. We could make that kind of new thing. Knowing now where Mizaguchi's head was at the time he developed Res, it only seems fitting that his first VR game was Res Infinite, an enhanced port that includes a new free-flying final stage, Area X. If there were any doubts about what Mizaguchi had been chasing throughout his career, Res Infinite put them to rest, and paved the way for a new body of work that's only just beginning. But unbeknownst to anyone outside of Enhance, at the same time Mizaguchi and his team began work on Res Infinite, they were also prototyping their next game. Unlike most VR games, Tetris Effect isn't designed to directly involve you in the physical act being portrayed on screen. It's aimed squarely at instilling the mental Tetris Effect that seeps into your consciousness and influences your perception after you've watched a few too many Tetraminos tumble into place. And like Mizuguchi's other games, Tetris Effect gets under your skin almost as soon as you begin playing. Having familiarity with Tetris means that the barrier to enjoyment is low, and that you can, at least temporarily, rely on rote puzzle solving while taking in the virtual atmosphere. And impulsively flip, slam, and clear rows of Tetraminos as fast as you can. Maybe the fundamental gameplay is no different than a regular game of Tetris. But when your entire field of view is filled with visuals that combine with music that's in part defined by your actions, Tetris Effect lends an entirely different feel to an incredibly familiar experience. Judging by a sampling of a few modes and a handful of stages, it seems like it really doesn't matter how you play Tetris Effect, nor how synthetic its worlds are. It's immediately enrapturing. For Mizuguchi, who has seen the highs and lows of the game firsthand throughout its years in development, it's the game's zone mechanic that sticks out when he talks about the finished product. This is like uh, yin and yang, you know, or a very really good combination. You could, you know, trigger the zone system. It's getting um, going to the another world. And the time stop and the silence and the graphic change, atmosphere change, and uh, it's getting, oh, I'm really like uh, in a happiness and in a zone matrix world. All the time I play the zone, I won't stay more and more but you know you have time limit <laughs> so yeah this is a really good combination i'm really proud of it Mizuguchi's career is filled with high note after high note he's proven time and time again that bridging our senses and gameplay mechanics can open up new possibilities for pre-existing concepts he's been ahead of the curve all along and is unsurprisingly looking ahead to the next generation of VR devices. But in terms of what his next project might be, it's really anyone's guess where he'll take us next.
to me and to my team, this is still just the beginning. So the future is under mixing with many things and much more resolution and uh, lighter and uh, thinner, maybe. It's getting, uh, getting casual more for everybody. So what kind of content, what kind of game, what kind of entertainment we can create in the future? Yeah, it's very exciting. Is there any one classic game you'd like to revive? Oh. I have no idea yet. <laughs> so if you have some idea, 